Good evening. Welcome to Trading Fours, presented by Chicago Blues Boot Camp. My name is Dave Spector. I'll be one of your co-hosts tonight. Right now, we'd like to welcome to the stage a great Chicago blues man from Mississippi, Fruitland Jackson. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. that's it? Okay. Well, again, my name is Fruitland. Your check is in the mail, Jackson. And I play acoustic, I play traditional, Americana, pre-war, post-war, Piedmont, Delta, all of the acoustic styles. And I always like to begin in the people's key, the key of E. So let me get familiar with my equipment. And I'm going to do a song called The Bad Man Blues. Because bad men get the blues. They have to remember stuff. They're constantly looking over their shoulders. So here we go. Sometimes a bad man crashes at a junction Through rose-colored glasses he don't see self-destruction Sometimes a bad man leans back on his life Any sign of trouble he begins to rationalize Sometimes a bad man fears to hear the news Cause the man ain't no stranger to the sometimes bad man blues Sometimes a bad man lets truth step aside A devil with an angel's grin, his vices help him hide Sometimes a bad man returns to the scene To quench his thirst on someone else's dreams Sometimes a bad man fears to hear the news Cause the man ain't no stranger to the sometimes bad man blue Sometimes a bad man must wear two faces, one for protection to cover his bases. Sometimes a bad man begs to be forgiven, lurking underground where the chosen are driven. Sometimes a bad man fears to hear the news, 
Cause the man ain't no stranger to the sometimes bad man blues Right, Fruitland. How you doing, man? Oh. Sounding great. Did you write that? Uh, yeah, that, that's an original. I thought so. I, I, I do originals. Yeah. Know? If you don't do originals, you will become a mediocre copy of another person's genius. So I tell all the musicians, write your own songs. That's good advice. Has this mess uh, with COVID-19 that we're in in the world inspired you to write much? You know, Dave, this is the first time I've been out the house since March 13th. Yeah. My last gig was at Buddy Guy's, long live Buddy Guy. And um, March 13th, and I've been stuck in the house. I'm a senior now, and we're very obedient. I grew up in a generation where there was measles, mumps, whooping cough. We had to have inoculations. So we understand uh, how to follow, follow orders and stay and get in line and tubes yeah. and, and do what you have to do. Yeah. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Right. Tell us about your teaching, because it's fascinating. The, My what now? Your teaching. Your, your blues in the schools work. And well, I know well, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm slowing <laughs> down. You know, I'm semi-retired. Okay. And, uh, and I, I've left a few things for other people who are called to, uh, to, to, this, to, to blues in schools to build upon. Uh, uh, um, you know, I received a, uh, a KBA in 1996. In 2010, I... I uh, I reached a, uh, a, million, a, a million students. I was seeing like 50,000 students a year. So in 2010, I reached one million. And I was glad because I didn't have to count anymore. I was like McDonald's, you know, wow. over one million served. And, um, and uh, I did blues in schools, middle schools, high schools, all around the country and in Europe. Right. And, uh, and wow. so now, you know, uh, uh, Everybody knows what blues in the schools is. At, the t at that time, nobody knew, and they just thought it would be some old guy who smelled like a whiskey steel who was coming into their school to talk to their youth until a, new, a newer generation. I got my... Uh, uh, Billy Branch was my mentor, mm -hmm. and then I took it from there, and uh, so now I'm, I'm kind of slowing down. Have any of your students gone on to become professional blues performers? You know... I was with John Primer and a couple of other musicians in Bologna, Italy. And I heard, an, it was an American accent, walked up behind me and said, Mr. Jackson. And I turned around and I looked at him. I said, yes. He said, you came to my school in 1994. Wow. I said, well, okay, well, what you doing here? He says, well, I'm playing, with, I'm a drummer for John Primer. Oh, my God. Now, I'm not saying because I went to his school that that's what did it. But it let me know that yeah. the seeds were being planted. And uh, I, now, I haven't seen a lot. I, I would <laughs> have liked to have seen more. But uh, I, we are starting to see uh, a newer generation that yeah. uh, appreciate blues music. And they're coming, but it's very slow. Sure, that's wonderful. What have you learned from teaching, from your students, maybe? I have learned that blues music is powerful and that young people... Nobody talks to them about music. We always we, we tell we got we warned them about television, but music can be just as dangerous. And we don't sit down and say A, B, C, D. So when I come into a school, and most of the schools don't even have music, they are eager to hear about the music and where it came from. And so students will walk up to me and say, isn't that Grateful Dead? And I say, no, it, come, it goes back further than that. Or isn't that Eric Clapton? I say, no, it goes back further than that. Right. And I just try to whet their appetites. I know out of a whole class of auditorium field with the students, we're only going to get a few. Because especially acoustic, it's a calling. You will yeah. starve to death. 
<laughs> and um, it's a calling. And so it doesn't hit everybody, but it hits some. Yes. And I believe that it'll be around for a long time, just right. like we're listening to Beethoven, and we still like Bessie Smith. We'll still like the blues. Thank you. Well, please play some more for us. We really enjoy having you, and thanks for being here. Thank you, Mon Frere. All right. Okay. All righty, daddy. All right. Um, I want to play something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue. Okay. Here's one. All pain, no gain. And it's kind of, this is a contemporary, this is new. Okay, this is what we call a Bob Dylan torture device. Uh, so just bear with me, uno momento. There we go. Let's see. F fit it where my shaving line is. And when I will push it out, it should be in the right place. Uh. Okay, here we go. Shake down, break down, uh, money changes all around. Zero balance, good report, but credit, credit cards cut short. No easy payment plan, uh, payday loans ringing hands, all pain, no grain. As this blues pandemic passes by us. Layoffs, cutbacks, uh, terminated by facts. No sleep, stressed out. This is what it's all about. From sun up to sundown, there are no jobs on the ground. All pain, no gain, as this blues pandemic passes by here. I never thought this would happen to me. Looking for a bone in a bad economy. Can't buy a job, got no opportunity. I'm home alone, cause my telephone don't ring, it don't ring, it don't ring. Rough times, tough times, I have had enough times. Fees rise, funds froze, teachers fired, schools close. Meltdown, bail out, uh, this is what it's all about. All oh, pain, no gain, whoa. All oh, pain, no gain. All uh, oh, pain, no gain, as this blues pandemic passes by here. I gotta move, I gotta pay, I gotta do what they say. Violence up kids bad, cause they don't even have a dad. Here's some good advice before you roll the dice. Never get kicked in the same. Never get kicked in the same. Never get kicked in the same spot twice. Oh, baby. Shake down, break down, uh, money changes all around. Zero balance, good report, but credit cards cut short. No easy payment plan, uh, petty loan ringing hand. All oh, pain, no gain. All oh, pain, no gain. All oh, pain, no gain. As this blues pandemic passes by here. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Break down, shake down, 
I gotta move, I gotta pay Rough times, tough times I've had enough times Fees rise, funds froze Teachers fired, schools closed Meltdown, bailout This is what it's all about Oh, pain, no gain Oh, oh pain, no gain Oh, pain, no gain As this blues pandemic passes by Up, Fruitland, there's always room for a breakup song. <laughs> no matter how long you've been together, it can happen. Okay. And you know, you can tell early on when things ain't working out. But you try to play your hand out because you don't want it to be your fault again. And then that day arrives. Maybe I should have saved those. Maybe I should have saved those leftover dreams. Funny, but here's that rainy day Here's that rainy day they told me about But I laughed at the thought that it might turn out this way Might turn out this way where is that worn out wish that I threw to the side After it brought my love so near, so near And it's funny how love becomes a cold and rainy day Funny that rainy day, it's here, it's here, it's here. Ba da 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 Funny, but here's that rainy day. Here's that rainy day they told me about But I laughed at the thought that it might turn out this way Might turn out this way Where is that worn out wish that I threw to the side after it brought my love so near, so near And it's funny how love becomes A cold and rainy day Funny that rainy day
Uh, lighten up, Fruitland. Everybody is weird to somebody who is weirder to somebody else. Now, this isn't a, a, an original tune, and it, it's really a country song, but I don't sing country. Okay, but it, it was written for a country artist, so anyway, uh, here we go. Am I coming through? Am I coming through there? There we go. Some people dress kind of funny. Some got no hair on their heads. Some drive old cars with no money. Some sleep on floors, not in beds. Some people speak with no learning. Some people cry when they're sad. But just cause somebody is different, well it don't mean that somebody's bad. So watch where you're pointing your finger Cause it just might go off in your face No human's got all the answers And patch up the whole human race So before you say somebody is screwed up Why don't you unscrew yourself? Cause everyone is weird to somebody Who is weirder to somebody else Everyone is weird to somebody Who is weirder to somebody else Some people speak with no learning Some people cry when they're sad but just cause somebody is different Well it don't mean that somebody's bad So watch where you're pointing your finger Cause it just might go off in your face No human's got all the answers To patch up the whole human race so before you say somebody is screwed up, why don't you unscrew yourself? Cause everyone is weird to somebody who is weirder to somebody else. Some people live in a mansion. Some people live in a cardboard box. Some go to Yale, some go to Harvard, some go to the school of hard knocks. Some people hate and shun others, and they miss the opportunity to celebrate their differences, and that's what makes them so unique. So watch where you're pointing your finger Cause it just might go off in your face No human's got all the answers To patch up the whole human race So before you say somebody is screwed up Why don't you unscrew yourself? Cause everyone is weird to somebody Who is weirder to somebody else Sound man, I'm getting ready to pull out.
Close enough. Here we go. My current CD is called Good Is Your Last Dollar. I got two nominations for 2020. I didn't win, okay. But I, I was nominated, they recognized me as my fifth nomination, and uh, I didn't win. Anyway, if you don't play Robert Johnson, people look like you, like you stole something. And I, uh, uh, I love Robert Johnson. And I always said that Robert Johnson was a better man than me. Okay. You know why? Because when his woman left him, he carried her luggage. Who does that? He was walking behind her carrying her bags while she leaving him. Well, you know, I guess he felt like at some point in time, maybe she would stay. Maybe she wouldn't go. But anyway... And I followed her to the station I, with the suitcases in my hand. Yes, I followed her to the station with the suitcases in my hand. It was so hard to tell, so hard to tell. Cause all my love was in vain All my love was in vain When the train rolled up To the station I looked her dead in the eye When the train rolled up To the station I looked her dead in the eye I was so lonesome, felt so lonesome I hung my head and I cried All my love was in vain When the train left the station, I, uh, there were two lights on behind. When the train left the station, there were two lights on behind. Well, the blue light was my blues, and the red light was my mind. All my love was in vain. Walk with me. One more time. Let's see, anything? Okay, all right, last song. Okay, um, all right, last song I'll do it on this one here. Uh, 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 I'm giving
getting ready to pull out, Sean, man. Thank you. Oh, what do I do now? Okay. Um. I'm gonna do this one. To all of the people who passed away during this pandemic, and they just didn't make it. I was trying to think of what could I play, and I, I went through all of my stuff, and eventually I ran into an old slave song that was converted to a spiritual, and, uh, um, and it's called A City Called Heaven. Sisters, they don't want me because I've been born again. Mm. Sometimes, Lord, I'm storm-tossed and I'm driven, Lord Sometimes I don't know where to roam But I've heard of a city Call heaven, whoa, I've started to make it, started to make heaven, I've started to make heaven, make heaven my Thank you. 
Hey, thank you, Fruitland. That was a great set. We thank appreciate you. you. Getting ready to pull out sound, man. We're cool. Uh, we're going to get ready for our second part of the show featuring Nick Moss, multiple Blues Music Award winner, and his talented wife, Kate, along with their bass player, Rodrigo Montevani. Um, but before we do that, I have a few announcements I'm going to make. Uh, we had to lend the teleprompter to Colin Powell to use at the convention, so I have this clipboard. Um, thanks to the anonymous donor who has pledged to match up to $5,000 in tonight's tip and ticket jar. That's really amazing. Um, yes, we do charge for the show, but the fee is really whatever you feel like giving. You can give a buck, you can give 10 bucks, you can give 50 bucks. You know, a show like this in a club would probably be 20, 25 bucks. So, but whatever you feel like, um, share your joy, share your appreciation. Um, the musicians get most of the tips. We also donate some to the Firehouse Community Arts Center in Chicago in the North Lawndale neighborhood. And I'm going to be introducing our co-host for the show from the Fi Chicago Firehouse. That's Pastor Phil Jackson, who you, if you've been watching these live streams, you've met Phil before. He's wonderful. And he's going to tell you about the work they do. And he's got a special guest with him as well. Um, thanks to our sponsors in Highland Park, just outside of Chicago, a great music store, the Music Gallery. We'd also like to thank Living Blues Magazine, the premier blues magazine in the world. Thanks to the Bradenton Blues Festival in Florida, which takes place on December 5th, 2020, uh, probably streaming, but stay tuned for more information on that. And also thanks to the Blues from the Inside Out podcast, which I host um, which is available on our on the Chicago Blues Boot Camp YouTube channel, as well as the Blues from the Inside Out YouTube channel. Uh, the next podcast with Ronnie Baker Brooks will be up tomorrow, so uh, check that out. Um, we'd like to thank Blue Stream, uh, Chicago Kalamazoo. Oh, I'm sorry, we're not thanking them, we're promoting them. Our next big show is uh, August 30th, and we're calling it Blue Stream, which is a collaboration between uh, Chicago and Kalamazoo and the Kalamazoo Blues Festival. It's going to be happening from 2 to 8 p.m. Sunday afternoon, August 30th, uh, featuring, that's Chicago time, featuring from Kalamazoo, Larry McRae, a great blues man who's been around for years, uh, and his trio, the Larry McRae Trio, Amaze and Blue, also from Kalamazoo from the Michigan area, the Out of Favor Boys Trio, and from Chicago, um, I call him the Professor Emeritus of the Blues. Billy Branch will be uh, our co-host, uh, along with myself. Uh, Johnny Bergen, Joanna Connor, Catherine Davis, Billy Flynn, Brother John Katke, Harlan Turson will all be performing uh, sets here uh, from Chicago. And that's August 30th. We do these live streams twice a month, the, f the first Thursday and the third Thursday of every month. So uh, please check us out. You know, we do them regularly. Also, thanks to, uh, hey, man, I've never had tambourine accompany my announcement. That's pretty cool, man. Thank you. Um, thanks to Peter Hurley from Living Blues Magazine, a wonderful photographer who shoots all of our artists. And you can check out his work and buy, for a very reasonable price, buy his photos on our website, which is at home Chicago, at home Chicago blues .com. That's right, at home Chicago blues .com. If you want to pick up some of the photographs that Peter has taken of our artists, um, we'd like to thank Delmark Records. That's my label here in Chicago. And speaking of Delmark, they are hosting and showing a wonderful exhibit of photographs called Women of the Blues. <laughs> And congratulations and thanks to Lynn Orman Weiss and Julia Miller. Um, check out their virtual opening, uh, Women of the Blues, a coast-to-coast -coast collection at Delmark Records. I believe you can see that at delmark.com. And uh, those photographs feature Kate Moss, who'll be playing in a minute, Catherine Davis, Donna Harula, who plays and teaches for us, as well as Lynn Jordan, who did a wonderful perform on, for <laughs> performance for us a while back. Um, and... More info on that, again, at delmark.com. All right. A few media shout-outs. Uh, across the Pond, BBC, Channel 6, Blind Dog Radio. The tambourine's making me move, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm being directed here by uh, our director. Okay. All right. You know, I get in the rhythm of it, and I move around. So <laughs> please bear with me. Um, 
BBC Channel 6, Blind Dog Radio, Blues Skidsmo, all the way in Norway, Blues Flock in España, uh, DJs, Cassie Fox, wonderful DJ, um, who I follow on Twitter. Please follow us on social media, by the way, Chicago Blues Boot Camp on Facebook, on Twitter. Don't worry, Nick, I'll shut up soon. Um, thanks to the Chicago Defender, the Chicago Tribune, the Beachwood Report, Highway 309, Michael Reynosa, uh, get wired to the rattle beats of Yippie Kaye Blues for the hottest blues on the grid. I did not write that, but it's pretty cool. Um, thanks to the Mothership, the Blues Foundation in Memphis, WXRT Radio Chicago, WCPT Radio Chicago, and Andrea, Andrea Darlis. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce my co-hosts from, from the Chicago Firehouse Community Arts Center, Pastor Phil, it's good to see you again. Pastor Phil Jackson. Great to be here, Dave, thanks a lot. Great to be here uh, in, in celebration with all the work that Chicago Blues Camp has done in support of our work. You know, the young boy and his brother were on a bus and the bus was you know, just coming home from school and the bus had an accident and it, it was a horrible accident. It turned over and bus got on fire. And um, the younger brother, who was smaller, grabbed the older brother, who was a little bit bigger, and put him on his back. And as the younger brother was carrying up the hill, um, other people pulled over and said, hey, I'll, I'll carry him. I'll get him. I, I got him. And the boy said, nah, I got him. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. And that's a little bit of the work at the firehouse, is that we come alongside the young men that we love and care for, and we just say, yo, it, it's not a problem. We don't see them as an issue. We don't see the challenges they face as dehumanizing them. We see them as uh, pulling uh, uh, the, the curtains back so they can be the men that they've always uh, been, the kings that they always have. And you've joined us on this work for a long while, helping us with the Chicago Blues Camp. And we are uh, humbled and honored and grateful that there is a partner that's considering you know, matching $5,000. That's incredible because every little bit helps us to be able to keep a young man alive. Really, that's the core of our work. Our mission at the Firehouse Community Arts Center on the west side of Chicago and North Lawndale is to interrupt the cycle of violence in the life of youth and young adults through the power of the arts and faith. And we have navigators, professional mentors who walk alongside of young men. And tonight, yes, tonight, we have one of the young men who I know and love for the last eight or nine years who is now a navigator, a princess. One day, maybe soon, maybe eight years from now, but he will be a navigator full-time working with young men. So I want to introduce to everybody, young man I love and is a brother uh, in this work, Jaquan Winnington. Jaquan, say hello to the people. Say hello to the people. Hello, hello. <laughs> so Jaquan, I'm going to ask you a few questions. You just respond from your heart, man. So uh, what is it that brought you to the firehouse? Um, I was having some trouble in the neighborhood and... Uh... Just no good opportunities and no no positive role models. And when I went to the firehouse, they showed me all of that. Grateful for uh, for that. What is it that that would you say is some of the challenges that are there? Some of the challenges that you face, other challenges that the guys you work with face. What are some of those uh, lack of options? What are, what are some of those challenges that they face? Um, just a lot of guys grow up in a um, single parent household, so it's no structure, no no real. Um, yeah, just no real structure and no one there to teach them the right things to do. And they venture off to the streets and get in a, a bunch of trouble. And the firehouse has just been a way for me to change the narrative on some of the things that I did and give back to help the guys that are coming up under me and show them that there's a better way. So Jaquan was been with us for eight or nine years while some of those challenges he faced, and now he is on staff with us to impact the lives of young men. This is the work that you helped is helping us with. So Jaquan is a navigator apprentice. So Jaquan, now as a navigator apprentice, reaching those guys, you know, what are some of the things you hope for them? What are some of the things that you see um, as you're now raising them up as, as you are as a leader in that way? Um, I, see, I see myself. Uh, I just want to help them before they have to go down some of the paths that I went down and they just go on a straighter path. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And how many young guys are you working with right now? Um, three right now. Yeah, three of them right now. And so they uh, build... Uh, he built Jaquan builds into their life through um, uh, 
one-on-one uh, mentoring. He builds it to their life by uh, walking with them, education. So these young brothers can see themselves as we see them, right, um, as, the, as the kings that they are. And, and, and it's a long journey, right? It's a long yeah. journey, right? Because yeah. some of the young guys didn't come to us with five minutes of trauma. So I want to thank you uh, for helping us to be able to bring Jaquan as a great navigator. One of these days, he'll be running the whole firehouse. And I'll be like an old man in a wheelchair talking about, there goes Jaquan. <laughs> And uh, that's what we look forward to do, that indigenous leaders to become those uh, uh, influencers of the community. So thank you, Jaquan, man. I love you. appreciate your work, man. I'm just grateful for the young guys that, are, that are, their lives are being changed because of your example, you know? So thank you, Chicago Blues Camp, for helping us make this a reality. We have so many more Jaquans to grab as he's working with three of them. We got a few more to slide to you coming up down the road. We got some other young men signing up. But thank you uh, for your work partnering with the Chicago Blues Camp and everybody else checking this out. Now I want to introduce to you, and they may even let me get, sing a song or something. I don't even know. Uh, I want to introduce you to this great group that's here with us now. Make sure I get the name right. Nick and Kate Moss. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. 
where a pillow's supposed to be. Well, I found me a pistol right where a pillow's supposed to be. When she lay a pretty head, and I know she got a tinsel. People don't see me dead. That's a true story, but it wasn't about, it wasn't about her. Someone long past. But here's here's one that I think uh, most folks, especially the fellows, they might agree with this one. I didn't write this next song. I think uh, this might Curtis Jones might have wrote this one. Lonesome in my bedroom. Lonesome in my bedroom People me and myself No one to talk to each night long when I come. Bedroom without a woman, like a heart ain't got no beat. Thank you. 
bedroom without a woman. Feel like a heart ain't got no beat. Bedroom without a woman. Like a heart ain't got no beat. My friends are all half dead ladies. And I wonder where in the world is the one for me. I cry He's not alone around the bed time Well I scream and I cry He's not alone around the bed time All my friends, they have to win And I ask where in the world Thanks. Thanks, Nick. Hey, man. Hello, David. Hello. Hey, Rodrigo. Hey, Kate. Thanks for being here. You guys sound great. Nick, tell us from, uh, I mean, you're a road warrior. You, you're, you tour all over the world regularly. And um, tell us what it's been like from your perspective having to deal with this pandemic, cancel so many gigs. What are you hearing from, from like the blues community around the world, from festivals, from clubs? Is there hope for anything happening? Well, I know that th I know a, a, a many festivals have rescheduled in hopes uh, that this can take place, that they can take place next year. Yeah. That remains to be seen. People have to do what they need to do. Sure. And, uh, you know, if, if, if everyone's doing what they're supposed to do, maybe we can start slowly getting back to some type of normalcy by next spring or summer, but I don't see it being any... Oh, he says, he says get in the middle, Dave. <laughs> He's, uh, I don't see it getting much more uh, back to normal before that. I mean, I could be wrong, but I... I I hope I am wrong. I hope it goes away tomorrow. Yeah, you know, but yeah, you've been doing some some online shows yourself. Some I did a, I did a couple. We didn't do too many. We just we did a few, and uh, m m I've been kind of spending my time just playing around with uh, some stuff. I my daughter is in some editing classes for yeah school, and she wants to kind of do what these guys are doing back here, camera work and cool. editing. So she kind of helped me put together a little variety show that we've been doing. 
once a month or so, and I've already done like three different episodes. And, yeah. Yeah. I heard some Robert Nighthawk influence there. Am I right? I did. <laughs> yeah, Robert Nighthawk and Elmore and Muddy and yeah. all of them. And Tell us about that guitar. Uh, it's an old Supro. I can't even tell you what year it is, but I found it at Norm's Rare Guitars. Sure, famous store. On the West Coast, and uh, Josh Smith picked it up and yeah. said, you must have this. And cool. uh, I got it on the, on the cheap. Yeah. Thanks, Norm. One thing I wanted to ask you about, because I know earlier in your career you did uh, – a fairly long stint with Jimmy Rogers. You were with Jimmy for a couple of years at least? Yeah, somewhere just under four years, I think. Yeah, and I mean, he's not, you know, he's he's not a huge, he's not as big enough a name, in my opinion, as he should be. Absolutely, I'm, I'm 100% agree. Tell, tell, tell our, uh, our viewers and listeners what it was like working with him briefly and, and what you learned from him. I, I imagine you could go on for quite a while. But. Well, I could. Well, I can tell you that... The, f the first thing that I learned uh, playing with him um, was like that on that ensemble sound that made the Chicago blues great. Like, I mean, he was Muddy's right hand man and right. all that great rhythm guitar work that you heard on those early chess sides and stuff. That was Jimmy playing those beautiful lines and stuff. And, and those bands, the way, the reason they sounded so wonderful was those guys just knew how to listen to each other and accompany each other in such a way where sometimes it sounded like they were playing over the top of each other, but somehow they were staying away from each other, and it was like this beautiful dance, and like learning how to do that correctly to make the, make this type of music sound yeah. the right way is, is something I learned from Jimmy, and a lot of other things in life as a young man, just, you know, trying to be, I like what, what the pastor's doing with the, is it uh, Jaquan? Yeah. With Jaquan, and they, you pass, they passed on knowledge to me, and I try to do that with the younger guys that I've gone through my band, but uh, I'm in full agreement. I think Jimmy didn't get his due as far as one of the guys that should be mentioned all the time. We just did a, a tribute show, the show I'm talking about that we do for my, we call it the Super Duper Blues Spectacular and more. And where can people watch that? On my, on my Facebook page. You can actually look it up on, on you, you. We post it on YouTube after it's done, too, so you can go to Great. So you can check out the Jimmy cool. Rogers uh, tribute. Don't forget the channel. Oh, Bad TV, which is also on Facebook, which stands for Blues All Day Television. All right. Hey, Kate, I didn't know you had a mic. I do. Cool. Hello. I, I wanted to tell people, um, in addition to your musicianship, you're an amazing graphic artist, and you do a ton of album covers and posters, moonshine design. Yeah. Um, what, what are some of your recent projects? Doing a lot of stuff for my friend Joe Bonamassa, my yeah. friend and yours. Um, He's always busy, so thank goodness for that. He's kept me busy for the last few months. Yeah. Always uh, has a great project coming out in a couple of years. Um, and then the just like Jose Ramirez, other other independent blues guys, yeah. any kind of music. So open for business. And you play, I know, I know you've played for quite a few years with Smiley Tillman. Yeah. How's Smiley doing? Smiley's doing okay. We finally had uh, our first gig since March um, at Fitzgerald's the other night. Nice. And it was really good. It was nice, nice. outdoors and... You know, he he was comfortable. He wasn't all that eager. To, he wanted to play, but he wasn't all that eager to get out of the house. So yeah. it's nice to get him out and see him. He's got to be. He's, he's in his he just 80s? turned 80. In wow, June. amazing. Yeah. Hey, I just wanted to let everyone know that um, we do offer CDs. Uh, we're going to get some of Nick's CDs. We have Fruitland CDs. If you can make a $40 donation or if you've already made donations, they are cumulative up to $40. You get a free CD from the artist. Hey, Nick, Kate, and Rodrigo, play some more music for us. All right, we will do that. Let's do this one. Actually, real quick, man, uh, Rodrigo here during this uh, pandemic time has been spending his time making some great videos for all the bass players out there on the blues masters of the bass, and he just recently did one on Ransom Noling, a wonderful blues and jazz bass player from uh, Chicago back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, and... Uh, we're going to do this song. This is the Arthur Big Boy Cut-Up song. And Ransom played on this one, right? Yeah, Ransom Nolan played on this one. So, Listen closely, bass lovers. There we go.
When the sun don't shine no more, I wring in my hands and try. Yes, you don't have to think about cause you always on my mind. But yeah, nothing but trouble, darling. But I love you just the same. Trust you. You're all right. You, you, you listen. I'll do this one. Maybe this will perk her up. This is a song I wrote for her a long time ago. Yes, 
until it laid me right down. When I take my last breath, when I close my eyes for the very last time. I'm gonna love you. Thank you. We got one more? All right. Let's, all right. Let's stretch this one out. One down, uh, let's do this uh, inappropriate song that was written a long time ago. <laughs> Jeebies when I hear your voice, you day, baby. Mine on mine. Sweeter than any gray ever came from mine. Well, you got eyes like diamonds, teeth like pearls. Lay off a boys, cause she's my girl. She's day, baby. Grave ever came from mine. Hey, well, now mama's got the bucket and daddy's got the top. And baby's in a cradle, man, that's ain't laid on a pop. She's day, baby. Mine on mine. Sweet and grave ever came from mine. I hear you.
choice Hit the heebie-jeebies when I hear your voice You date me Mine on mine on mine Sweeter than that grave Ever came from mine Lay it on a pop. She's day baby. Mine on mine on mine. Well, she's sweet and gray. Never came from mine. Let's get out of here. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Kate. Thanks, Rodrigo. Appreciate you being Thank here. You. Great set. Thanks, Fruitland Jackson, for a wonderful set. Uh, we got to say good night, but uh, please remember August 30th, Sunday afternoon, 2 o'clock Chicago time, Blue Stream, featuring uh, a collaboration for the Kalamazoo Blues Society with uh, wonderful Chicago blues artists, including Billy Branch, Billy Flynn, Larry McRae from Michigan. Please check us out, and don't forget, we'll be back uh, the first Thursday and the third Thursday of every month at homechicagoblues.com. Please show the musicians and Pastor Phil and the Chicago Firehouse Community Arts Center some love with a, a generous donation. Everyone truly appreciates it. Stay safe, healthy, wear one of these, okay? We'll see you next time. Good night.